All right, first of all, I'd like to thank everyone for coming. It's 7.25, you're 25 minutes late. Look, last week, one of our guys fell off a roof and four of you tried to convince him that he was not hurt to protect your safety bonus. That's not how we handle an injury around here. Rocco, Frankie, Nikki, and Big Paul, look, I know you guys are old school, but you can't tell a guy to walk it off when there's a piece of bone sticking out of his leg. Also, Caleb, Healing crystals will not work. You're not a shaman. Waving a piece of rose quartz over a man's injury will not fix a broken leg. None of these little amulets or trinkets or even Frankie's Italian horn will not ward off the maloic of injury. Look, there's three ways that we identify injury around here. Someone is bleeding, someone is screaming, or someone looks dead. Typically, we ignore the last one because that's your default setting around here. Some of you belong to religious groups that refuse medical treatment. We respect that, so if you get injured, Keep working. Urinating on bee stings is fun, but does not replace an EpiPen. If someone loses a finger, get off the phone, find the finger, then post the picture to Facebook. Pack the finger in ice, Rocco keeps whiskey cubes in his cooler. Then calm the situation down by telling him, you can drink whiskey warm, the Cowboys did. And by the way, no additional drama when calling 911. You don't need to add, please hurry, it's his texting thumb. Since you seem confused, we will have a safety drill on how to handle an injury. Michael will pretend to be hurt, because he's the best at it, and then we will try to help him. You could do that thing you always do, Mike, when the drywall gets delivered. Oh my back, I think I slipped a disc. And remember, your lunchbox is not a first aid kit. We're not looking for Maluka honey or CBD oil or apple cider vinegar. We actually have first aid kits in the trailer. Those kits are for everyone, except for Colin, whose mom brought in an organic boo-boo wound care kit filled with hemp band-aids, aloe vera, and antibacterial bamboo fiber bandages due to his very allergic skin sensitivities. And by the way, before you leave, in case there's an injury, we need the name of your emergency contact. And it can't be your service animal.